Hey, what's up, guys? Wicked 95 here. Back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sex Figure Reviews. And today, I am back with the final figure in the uh, set for the WCW Monday Night Wars uh, for the Build A Figure Lex Luger. And this one is the Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, it wouldn't be a WCW versus WWE uh, war without Steve Austin. This uh, figure is pretty cool. It reminds me of the Ultimate Edition. I mean, the um, Defining Moments. Uh, a lot of people compared it. There is some, like, uh, differences and similarities. I unfortunately don't have that uh, figure, so I can't compare. I do have some Steve Austin figures, though, here for you guys. Um, for, for, for some reason, I don't have many Steve Austins. This is my third Elite, or my second Elite, third Austin figure. I have the Ultimate as well. Um, I do have like two um Jacks Stone Colds, so yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't have a, a a big collection of Stone Cold figures. Anyways, guys, let's get into this unboxing and review for you guys. This is the Steve Oz, the first figure that I saw when I went to Walmart to find them. When I heard they were hitting, uh, hopefully I find the series two and series two three, and they're as easy as it was for me to find these because they weren't the shipper and everything. They only had two Stone Colds. Uh, they only had one Hogan. They had like three Razors and like four Undertakers when I went. And uh, honestly, to be honest, I haven't been able to see. I haven't seen any of them anymore. Um, I thought they were going to be all around. But um, I know they're still in the pegs. I know they're still in the shipper. But I haven't seen them in my local uh, Walmarts. But Steve Austin, guys, nonetheless, here he is with that jacket, that camo jacket. I think he has a shirt underneath. I'm not really sure which one it is. Um, I'm not really sure if it's Velcro. We'll see. He does have his hat. He has a can of beer, which is pretty big. Uh, interchangeable hands, the uh, closed fisted, and a mic holding because he has the opposite on the on the figure. And he does come with the Lex torso. Steve Austin right here. There he is on the front. There is the same picture on the side. This is from Raw, March 20, 22nd, uh, 1999. Stone Cold Steve Austin. There is some uh, stats right there. There's some info right there on that as well. I like how they have the Scratch logo here. That's pretty cool. Uh, career highlights and everything. Uh, build a figure Lex Luger. The rest of the way was Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, Undertaker, and of course Stone Cold. If you guys checked out any, haven't checked out any of these, go ahead and check them out. There's going to be links down below. Cards in the right-hand corners. Uh, and all the videos here, actually. And try to include all the cards that I do from every set in the corner. And I think this should be in my playlist for the build a figures as well. Uh, so yeah, like I said, he does come with the torso there. Uh, pretty nice figure. Nice packaging and everything. I like this packaging. I like... The best one that I like was that Survivor Series War Games one. That I lost the backdrops to. Never was able to find it. But... They are stay tuned guys actually um by the time these videos go up they might be a bit late uh so uh expect a lot of figure more a lot of more figure reviews for sure ultimates wwe um ultimate and, and, and elites uh, aws i still have a ton to do actually uh and i'm trying to organize everything so we can put the, all the videos up accordingly but here are the the figures there um, there's the Lex Torso, it's pretty nice, jacked, mm -hmm. there's the hand, this hand doesn't really have the time, okay. They tied the beer to the hand or what? Uh, the hoodie's hella big. <laughs> I need this tie though for other figures when I need them to hold something, which probably is going to be that shirt. Oh, but he has something on it already. He does. Damn, dude, this hoodie is huge. As well as the can. The can is big. 
it goes backwards. Can of beer. That they kind of put the beer logo on there. For, you know, reasons. <laughs> but, anyways, let's go over the accessories. So, these are accessories. Come with the beer holding hands now. The C-grip hands. The close-fisted hands. As you can see. And vice versa on the figure. Holding the beer can there. And, of course, the beer can. It's kind of big. But... It's a little bit tiny. Uh, if they would have just done that a little bit tinier, then it would have been a little bit better. But that's pretty cool there. And then uh, I guess kind of like the main attraction for this figure was the hoodie and the shirt. So let's take this band off, which I'm probably going to put back on him. So it, he looks good with it. Oh, the hat right here, man. Steve Austin hat. What does it say? Stone Cold Steve Austin with the 316 skull. In a tan with black camo, which looks pretty cool. I like that. And then the shirt. So let's remove the clothing so we can take a closer look at the figure. There's the there's the hoodie right here in the like a camo-ish. Pretty cool. Does he have it over here? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. And it looks good. Austin 316 shirt. Which uh, I think this is the same one that comes on the Ultimate Edition, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, do we want to take it off, actually, since it is uh, a non-Belcro or Belcro list. I'm not going to take it off. The sh the Damn, I thought the head was going to pop off. Pretty good. Nice, you can rotate the arm all the way. It's buttery smooth. Uh, nice bicep swivel. Double jointed uh, elbows there. Wrist rotation. The ab crunch on this one is the best. It's really good up and down. You can rotate the wrist, the waist there. He can kick pretty good for that stunner. Same on the other side. He does have double jointed knees that are very tight. Pinless. Double uh, upper thigh cut, no, no shin cut, no nothing here, which kind of sucks. Um, and then some ankle pivoting there. So this figure had a had everything good except for the shin cut. Uh, they should have done the same shin cut that they did with the kind of like the razor or the boots from freaking Hogan, man. They never did that on these figures. And then everything well. Although this figure looks pretty cool, honestly. Now I'm curious to see. Oh, and the Lex the Lex torso was just ripped. It's just jacked. Look at that. It's just, it's just sick right there. So we're gonna uh, compare it and uh, to the other Lex that I have. But let's see now. I have the WrestleMania uh what is it? 30 39 Elite, WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 38, something like that. Uh, Elite right here, this is the Stone Cold Steve Austin from that set. Obviously, it's a different head scan. Kind of almost there, but I like this head scan better. I feel like it's a lot better. He looks better on this head scan on the WrestleMania one. But I like this one, it looks pretty cool. And then, of course, the Stone Cold... From the, damn dude, this thing's dusty. I gotta clean my shelves. This is the ultimate edition. I forgot what ultimate edition it uh series it is, but damn dude, I'm surprised of all this dust. Um, so now I'm curious to see. Let's take this off. If it's the same back, no, it's not gonna be the same. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. I like this one better. The color just pops. The skull is bigger and everything. 316 on it. Austin 316. Smaller on the Ultimate Edition. Wow. So they gave him a better shirt. They gave him a better shirt on an Elite than an Ultimate. That's crazy. That is crazy. But they are both Velcro less. So it's pretty cool. Put this Austin back. 
this belt. But anyways, guys, that has been it for the reviews of this uh, WCW Monday Night Wars um, Elite with the finalizer uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Make sure to check out the next video, which is going to be the putting together the Lex Luger figure. And uh, finally, I get to add that figure to my shelf after searching for these elites. Hopefully, I am begging that uh, those um, Series 2 and Series 3 make it to Walmart's, like, how these made it there so I can find them and get my w my builder figure set complete. Um, I am uh, on the process of ordering the SummerSlam wave, which I'll have that John Cone. Uh, and then the Survivor Series ones are up also on uh, Ringside, which is uh, build a Adam Pierce, I believe. So... A lot of build a figures sets that I need to get because I am, uh, I'm, I'm building all of my build a figures this time. I am not holding back, so I need those figures, guys. Make sure to go uh, and follow my socials at wafr 5 Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. Share my videos, guys. We're on the road to 800, and we'll, we'll do a giveaway for sure on there. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next one.